Hi, and welcome back to Let's Blog for Money. Today we're going to be installing the Yoast plugin. This is very complicated, but we're going to step you through it one step at a time so you won't have any problems. The Yoast WordPress SEO plugin is very powerful, and the nice thing I like about it is that Yoast is very conscientious about updating the plugin and adding new features to it all the time. Once you've installed the plugin and configured it properly, you should be set for a while, but you will find that Yoast periodically, every couple of weeks it seems like, updates the plugin and you should install the new version of his plugin. The one thing I will warn you about, however, with the Yoast plugin is that you should always update your WordPress version first and then update Yoast, not the other way around. Okay, so here we are. We're um, ready to install the Yoast plugin and we're going to go to our wacky life and this is the first step in the Yoast plugin. This will control the meta descriptions and our page elements and that's all we're probably going to get through today. The first thing I'm going to do is to disable the date in my snippet. The reason I do that is to ensure that I'm able to use more keywords and the date doesn't really have any meaning for Google. And so I want to save all of the, the room I have in my URL for my post to have keywords in it instead of meaningless nonsense. The post titles and meta descriptions is the first part of Yoast that I'm going to work with. These are important for several reasons. One, these are the first things that Google will see about my site. And second of all, these have to match in order to maximize my results in Google. So SEO helps you make sure that you've got the right stuff in these title, titles and meta descriptions to maximize the chances that you're going to come out well in a Google search. So I don't want to do anything to my my pages or my categories. I could exclude those if I wanted to. But I do want to, at this point, generate a sitemap. A sitemap is going to be something that will help Google find pages. And this is going to be updated every time I add a new post, but in the beginning I need to do this manually. And after I generate the sitemap, I want to make sure that all of the major search engines are notified. And I'm going to save these settings and then I'm going to rebuild my sitemap manually. After you've rebuilt the sitemap you'll see it's going to give you some results. You want to make sure that it says that it was successfully generated. If not, there's a problem and you need to fix that problem before you go on. Alright, so now we're ready to work on the titles. The first thing that Yoast is going to ask you to do is to modify the page title section in your header PHP. I'm usually not comfortable messing with PHP because I don't understand PHP well enough to be sure that I'm not going to mess things up. And if you mess up your PHP files. These are the, the theme files that came when you uploaded the theme. If you mess these up, everything is going to be messed up. So what I do is instead of playing with messing up the PHP files, what I'm going to do is, we'll see as I go back up to the top here, is I'm going to do a force overwrite. 
What you see here are different page title options. Here we go. Here's where I'm going to select the force rewrite titles so that I don't have to mess with doing that and making a mistake. Now for each individual page, as well as for posts and everything, I'm going to um, do as Yoast recommends. The home page for me is my Wacky Life After 40, which is a little different than the URL, but that's okay. Um, and then the meta description for this template is all the crazy things that happen to in your life. You can put anything you want in here. You want to make sure that it's keyword laden. You want to make sure that it matches your page titles and matches other elements because matching internal consistency within your content is something that Google is going to use extensively to determine how far up you're going to come in the search. Here are all the different tags that we're going to use for our pages, different kinds of pages. And it's best just to copy these directly from the way Yoast wants to see them. You will see there's one difference, and that is in Yoast, there's a keyword template. And in the new version that he has developed, that doesn't exist. The other thing is we can't cut and paste from Yoast's site to our site. So we have to very carefully copy, one at a time, each of these templates. And I always like to look at it, put it in, go back and look at what Yoast put in, and go back and check mine again, just to make sure that I've got everything exactly the way he put it. So the first post template, title template, is going to be title. And this means it's going to pull the title from the post as you create the post. The meta description template is going to be an excerpt. This means that it's going to take the excerpt from your description and use that and associate it with each post. Okay, then we would move down to our page title template. And this is the template that would go on each page. And again, this is going to be our title plus the site name. Okay, so we want My Wacky Life After 40 to go in on each page. And then carefully copy the description of that again, which is excerpt. You'll see each of these is bracketed by a pair of percentage signs. And those are very important to ensure that Google knows what you're talking about. So just go on and follow this and copy each one in. And we will get back to you in our next post to talk about further modifications to the Yoast plugin. Bye and have a nice day.